What's up guys, how's it going and welcome to the Minute channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that I was requested to do, I actually wasn't planning to make this video at all, but uh, somebody messaged me the other day and asked me to make this, so today we're going to be talking about the Velvet Room and how to, uh, some advices to do... Uh, some fusion so, advice for you. Uh, so first of all, one of the things about it is the Velvet Room works in a very different way from the other games. Uh, it's one of those things that I'll, I'll say like I kind of like and don't at the same time. Uh, the game just does some things differently and some people may or may not like that at all. Uh, one of the biggest advantages in this game is the system that they decided to do which is the system for what it is the the um, leveling up system. Now typically in this game uh, you you're able there's this new thing which is the PP <laughs> the persona points I don't know what I call them PP that's a really shitty name uh, but anyway one of the things that I, uh, I didn't know until I watched this video which by the way I'll link uh, I'll leave a link for the description there for somebody that I learned this from but basically one of the coolest things about this is, is you can use the PP to increase the uh, stats on your character and everything which obviously these characters have really <laughs> big stats so it's gonna take forever to load it up and everything like that but uh, as you can see uh, one of the interesting parts of this game particularly is the fact that you're actually able to utilize any any persona and uh, create more PP or when you create new personas you just get more PP and it's like super easy to do and everything but the biggest thing is once you're able to kind of understand the way the mechanic for this uh, you can actually exploit this in a lot of different ways uh, one of the interesting parts of it that I actually kind of like here uh, is and I, again I learned this from the uh, person that I mentioned before but uh, there's this inheritance system that you have between between uh, your personas, which basically the uh, PP points that you put into any stats, whenever you create an infusion, those PP points actually get uh, inherited by the next persona up and everything like that, uh, which is something really interesting. I actually love that. That's actually how I made this Joshitsune. This Joshitsune has uh, a lot of inherited points from previous personas, but. Um, Let's see, I'm just gonna kinda give you guys an idea here, which is kinda uh, what I'm trying to do here. So we're gonna go and do one of the, the smallest fusion possible, which is kinda one of the the normal fusion, so to speak. Um, so you can kinda get an idea. So we're gonna have like the f two of the, the um, personas uh, that uh, pretty much everybody knows. Jack, La Jack Lantern and Pixie. Now you get these two at the same time. Uh, at the same time, something like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump some points into uh, this persona here. We're just gonna dump out. I'll say like, we're gonna do. You can dump a bunch of them. The guy that I watched this video from, he did. He dumped like ten points on each and everything. And uh, I thought it was an interesting thing that he did. But we're just gonna dump some points because I don't really wanna waste too much time on this here. But uh, this is one of the coolest and more interesting aspects of this game that I actually didn't even realize until I saw this person doing it because it's, it's really cool actually I liked it quite a bit uh, and then this one here which we're gonna increase some more here again I'm just dumping some skills so you can kind of see uh, you can decide what you want to do with your own time and everything Alright, so we're just going to dump 10 points on each, just something small and everything. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and fuse these two right here. Uh, we're going to go here to create personas, and then we're going to go ahead and create a bicorn. Uh, obviously, you can see this, the initial stats of the bicorn are there, 5, 3, 3, 3, 5, 3. Uh, but once you do, it doesn't matter what, what you get, I'm going to delete this one anyway. So what you do next is you just go ahead and fuse it. I'm going to go ahead and skip the fusion. And... Um, Look at the stats, they just went up crazy because of the inheritance of the previous personas which had some stats and everything. So basically that's that's one of the neat aspects of it. Um, once you work on it and everything, you can actually get some pretty cool stuff. For example, let me just kind of make this persona here real quick, which is Lucifer. And uh, one of the cool things that I like about this is literally that as well. Um, it's this this same thing that you can do here 
uh, with everything. So we're gonna create this one here, and then we're just gonna go yes or whatever. So once you make this, after you have done that quite a bit, um, see this that's just blow up from the premium, and again that's just from inheriting. So that's one of the things to kind of keep in consideration here. Um, there, the video that I left kind of actually shows you how to go all the way to level 99. I just have no patience whatsoever. But Speaking of fusions here, um, one of the biggest thing is, I guess, I will kind of just say overall, it's just knowing your personas and everything. Um, this game actually makes fusion really easily because of two different aspects. One is you have the personas which you can actually just buy them. You know, if you don't, if you have the money for it, and you have the personas already in your uh, thing you actually don't have to go and pull them the computer will automatically pull them for you and you have it there to create a persona that you want uh, which is again is, is pretty cool the great ones here is just because you're missing the level like one of these personas is just not high leveled enough or whatever uh, so it doesn't really matter you just gotta kind of know your combinations and what to do and everything like that the game can get into really some interesting aspects here so kind of just overall how I build my personas, and I guess I just can I kind of can get out of here. Actually, I can look at them from here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get out for, for a minute. Okay, so here it is. So we're gonna go ahead and just look at my personas here, so you can get an idea here. Uh, so, for example, this is Lucifer. He's the strongest persona in the game. Um, you know, by base stats and everything. But uh, one of the things that I like to do, and he's actually not stronger than my. Uh, enhanced uh, Joshisune, which again, I just I, I created this persona through multiple fusions until I got kind of what I wanted and everything um, But typically what I like to do is I want I like to put some strong attacks But also I, I pretty much just have support spells things like uh, buffs and debuffs I, I do this for majority of my things like for example i do have some attacks but i also have some healing things and some um things like debuffs really that's just what it what i do here uh most of my personas kind of that's what they do you know some amp attacks to give them some additional stuff and everything can i just how I build my personas a um, couple of advices here is make sure that you keep the good ones. Um, in fact, I will say that you actually don't need big debuffs. You just need some that work for you. Like I'd like to lower the defense, so I'm doing the most amount of damage possible. Um, I really don't uh, focus myself on a lot of these like elemental attacks. As soon as as soon as I have what I need. It doesn't really matter, I just need one or two and everything. And I just keep a bunch of personas with me and everything like that. Another thing to consider also is the drain and no effects on their... Uh, if you can see over there, for example, this one is... No, it nullifies light and it drains um, nuclear. For example, this one drains ice. And then you can have somebody like Mara that drains fire. And then you can have... Um, her uh, drains uh, darkness. All of these are really cool because it, when if you build it a certain way, a good certain way, there is going to be a point where you are basically invisible because you can just easily switch between personas. Uh, say you're, you're fighting, for example, the Reaper, which I did, and they attack you. He attacks me with a fire attack. I just switch to Mara, and then Mara is just literally absorbing the fire, and then he does a nuclear attack, and I just flip to. Uh, him and then um, Dominion is just gonna drain the nuclear attack. So that's pretty much the my when I what I look at when I create a persona. I also would encourage you to get some of the uh, Dodge physical, for example, or Dodge ice or things like that. Just kind of cover your bases with weakness. It's just that a lot of these uh, higher stronger ones don't really have a lot of weaknesses um, but yeah that's pretty much in this video here just kind of giving you my setup on my personas and how I do it and everything everybody has a different way of doing it and I don't think there's a wrong or a right way to do it it's just everybody has just a different way to set it up and everything um, but if you need any actual advice I'm not like the biggest best person to ask about it but feel free to leave a comment below I'll be happy to give you guys what I got here anyway thank you so much for watching this video please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.